Hi everyone. Hi everybody. So today we are going to be looking at the two weeks results of the CMD shellac on this head and the OPI dog collar. Uh -huh. So the four fingers look amazing. Well, what do you think? Uh, I think shellac actually wore better on this hand. Mm -hmm. Looks more shiny, less, and these hands were put through. Lots. What do you call it? A ringer, no? Yes. Yeah. So there was less shine on this hand, mm -hmm. uh, slightly less shine. But the thumbs are a little bit less. Uh, can we just have it a little bit closer? A little bit less impressive. So the shellac part had a bit of a an accident. Can you point them down a little bit so the viewers can see? Yeah. Yeah, so there was a slight little chip on this one. But that happened, sadly, about a week later, no? Ah, uh, yeah. And it kind of continued. So, and right. it's interesting because I mentioned that during the video, that that side, when it cures, sometimes it does not cure properly. So it really, I sometimes what I suggest is people lift their finger a little bit so it's not um, flat against the lamp. So anyway, just pay attention how the fingers are positioned under the in the lamp. Okay, so we are going to be in this video. We are going to be doing the removal of these. So let's um, and we're gonna do it kind of properly the way the company recommends. So the shellac I'm going to. So the shellac has the Express Five top coat. So we're gonna remove it. It's going to come off pretty quickly in five minutes or so with the awfully fast. Okay, and the other is going to, I'm going to use the OPI uh, lacquer remover Ooh. from OPI. So, um, other than that, you can also use acetone. I have good luck with using acetone as well. Good results, good luck. Good results, I guess. Okay, so we're going to use two timers. And you're supposed to start timing once you wrap the whole 10 fingers. So this is what we're going to do. Make sure that the cotton is sep uh, saturated, separated, saturated quite well. And then you wrap it tightly and squeeze it. And I'm going to link the original video, the part one uh, below as well and in the cards above So with shellac you don't need to remove the top coat someone has asked me the other day if I tried removing the top coat um, from shellac to speed up the removal process but you know what it's going to take you a minute to remove the top coat to probably gain a minute in this in the removal process so it's just not worth it it's better to just in my opinion just be able to relax for one extra minute okay so we're going to use the timer now for five minutes and I sometimes use a heating pad as well and this one, we need to remove the top coat. So I'm going to use a 100 grit. And you can see when I'm filing at first, the, the area gets like a little white and then you start seeing the color. You see, uh -huh. this area has filed through the top coat already. So you don't want to file obviously uh, down to the natural nail. This is quite easy. You can do it by hand. You can do it with electric file. Um, you can also, if the nails are longer, see how this files through. Um, you can file the free edge a little bit. It actually files very soft, very easy. I have to say, it's not a lot of work. Uh -huh. To speed it up, what I would do is I would. Remove the shine, or sorry, remove the top coat from five nails, wrap the uh, the nails in the remover, and then do the other five, just so the other ones are soaking as you are um, removing the top coat from this hand.
And you want to make sure that you're using kind of like a longer strokes. And you want to make sure that you don't file through the product. Because that would hurt the natural nail. We don't want to do that. Actually, the 180 side works pretty good as well, I have to say. Oh, you see I'm filing through. <laughs> Oops. Well, Reggie nails for you. All right, so let's use... How am I supposed to use this? Uh, the way it's intended to be. This has a lavender smell, which I'm not too crazy about. The other one has like this cherry kind of smell, which is nice. But when it comes to the CMV remover, I find that it has some oils and it tends to be slippery. And especially if you're wearing gloves. Fingers are shaking. Mm. Okay, there is a little cut on this finger, so I'm gonna try to avoid it. And we're gonna do it this way. Okay. All right. So normally, what I do here is ask the client to put their hands flat because if they are uh, moving their hands around, it's gonna loosen up the foils and it's going to evaporate. And then I cover them with another towel. Okay, so um, normally I use a heating pad um, to speed up the, the process. So I just put the heating pad in the microwave. But in the meantime, I noticed that we're already at five minutes for the shellac. So let's, let's see how the shellac comes off. Normally the heat helps. <clears throat> so we'll see how this looks. And you know what, shellac removal does not look as good as the CMD video is going to show you because once it has been worn for a little bit, it doesn't come off in like big chunks. It comes off this way. So I'm barely putting any pressure. That's still impressive though it's for two weeks. Amazing, yeah. yeah, like I have to say like. It's gotten better as time has went on. Like I'm very impressed. You know why probably? Oh. I'll tell you why, huge secret. I think I'm using shellac thinner now. Oh. After so many years of using it, you would think that you don't learn new tricks, but I think, uh, yeah. You're using I think thinner layers. A, yeah. Interesting. Even the top coat. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you see here the the edges came off. Okay, one thing when it comes to shellac removal, of course they're telling you not to like force the product off or mm. not to scrape it, but shellac is pretty different when it comes to the removal. That sometimes when it looks like it's still kind of stuck on a nail. It's kind of soft all the way down. It's hard to explain it. Like when you kind of give it a push, it does feel like it's soft. Uh -huh. And again, I'm not encouraging, you know, like pulling the product off or what do you call it? Like scraping it off. No, yeah, like true scraping, yeah, like but, having to put effort. Exactly. But sometimes when you give it a nudge, the shellac goes. Yeah. Um, the other products like the the opi when you don't when you see that the product is not lifted don't don't try because it's going to actually pull a nail with it like it's it's different with shellac there was like a degree of of softness to it with other products it's almost like it's either soft or it's not at all so you can see it's not a very clean removal 
Not that I'm complaining here, I'm just stating the fact. Uh -huh. It's not the way kind of thing he shows you. In order to re achieve such a beautiful removal is you have to um, okay. soak Can it I off. Tell them? Yes. Can I tell them? Mm -hmm. You have to apply it, mm -hmm. and as soon as it's done, remove it, <laughs> and it will come out perfectly the way you see it in all the yeah, CMD videos. That's the trick. That's the secret. Got to time the other one. Oh no, we know because um, I finished at four and a half minutes. So it's been there for four and a half minutes now. This one. And how long is that to be on? Uh, at least ten minutes. So you see, this looks like it's solid, right? But like, look. Yeah. No pressure. Like you're not really no. scraping it at all. It's soft. And I can tell you guys, Yeah, I'm not... I know what scraping feels yeah. like. And this is, it's like just pushing the product. That's yeah. all she's doing right now. It's not going to create damage to the natural nail at all. I'm not digging for gold here. No. We're just pushing snow off the ice. Kind of a pond hockey reference right there to oh, anybody who's America, huh? like really Canadian. They'll know what I mean. See, it's not perfect. So it needs a little bit of uh I guess, uh, what do you call it? Oh, Touch-ups? No, like... Additional scrubbing, work? Scrubbing, scrubbing. That's, that's the word. Scrubbing. Okay, so the other hand... Um, still needs quite a few more minutes. So it's been five minutes for this hand. So we're going to give it another five, uh, 10 minutes. I'm actually going to put a heating pad on the other hand. Okay. And in the meantime, we're going to manicure this hand now. Yes. Well, why would we want to do that? I like having claws. The claws. Okay, let's leave them. Let's point. Let's make them more round. <laughs> the look that I got. Let's make them pointy. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, we'll see you guys in ten minutes. Okay. Right. So in the meantime, so this is, has been fifteen minutes here on this head, mm. and in the meantime, we managed to manicure the other hand. All right, lift it up. So we'll see how how ready this is. Okay, so that's good. It's promising. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it came off rather nice. Yeah. But I find I mean, OPI when it comes off, it does come off cleaner almost. Yeah, but it does take longer. It's not it five takes minutes. It's fifteen, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'll just... <laughs> beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, not... what a beautiful removal. Yeah, so the key is thin coats. Yeah. I would say that the removal of this one is almost like better in a way that it comes off cleaner. It doesn't leave those little uh, pieces of base coat behind. Yeah. See? And now Let's the see. moment of truth. Okay. Oh. Wasn't too sure about the thumb. Mm-hmm. I would say impressive. No? Yeah. 
Yeah, I yeah. agree. It is impressive. It takes a little bit longer, but it, it, it comes came off, really off nice. awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, you know, this is it. We're going to manicure this head. And in the next video, I think we're going to... We're going to compare these two. Essie with Vinylux. This is... I don't have a... I don't think Essie has a complete black. So this is like a... Um, black with a gray kind of gray with like a green flash to it it's beautiful actually we're going to compare the application and the wear of these two brands okay mm -hmm. so that's in the next video so um thank you so much for watching and let us know if you have any questions and we're going to try to address them in the next video yes look at these claws Alrighty. thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye bye